You guys have no idea how excited I am to satisfy my curiosity with this one because believe it or not, when I was a kid, I used to watch the banana splits. Uh, there was a little period during my childhood when I would watch a whole bunch of Hanna-Barbera shows. They would be on during Boomerang and I would go and check them out one by one. Rather it be like the Flintstones, the Jetsons, uh, Wacky Races, Yogi Bear, Laugh Olympics and all that kind of stuff. I used to be into a lot of different Hanna-Barbera shows. Of course, like I stated, a lot of them are really popular but then you would also have uh, some of the smaller Hanna-Barbera shows that didn't necessarily last long, one of which being the Banana Splits. Now, believe it or not, I didn't necessarily care for the cartoons that would air during the Banana Splits because a lot of them were really the Johnny Quest style action cartoons that Hanna-Barbera would often make and I didn't necessarily care for those shows. But when I was watching the Banana Splits, I w it was mainly for the live action segments because they were a lot more psychedelic to look at. Uh, they were a lot more funny than the cartoons that they were presenting. And especially, you just want to hang out with the goofy characters that they have with uh, Bingo, Flegel, Droopy, and Snorky. Because that's kind of like the main selling point of the Banana Splits. You want to hang out with this cartoon band. And it was just a lot of fun seeing their crazy shenanigans. But I, I will say though, it's not necessarily my favorite of the Hanna-Barbera shows and not necessarily the most memorable. But I do remember a period in my childhood that I would watch the Banana Splits and I would have a good time with them. Fast forwarding many years later, and somehow the Banana Splits got back into the news and not only would they return for a movie, but somehow they decided to turn the Banana Splits into an R-rated horror slasher film. And it was possibly one of the weirdest news that I have heard in recent years. But I knew that I wanted to go and check it out. And yes, I have indeed went and bought the Blu-ray. I unironically went to Walmart and I have spent $20 on this thing. And it still feels absolutely bizarre to hold it in my hand. And even if I hold it, even if I know that this exists, it still raises so many questions. Like, why do they want to turn the Banana Splits into a horror movie? Why do they want to make a Banana Splits movie after like 50 years since it existed? And also, why is Warner Brothers and the people handling the Hanna-Barbera properties okay with this? Now, the good news is that this Blu-ray also does come with some bonus features, and hopefully through there, some of those questions at least can be answered. But either way, I know that this is gonna be a heck of an experience, so... I, I just want to go and try to satisfy my curiosity. So with all that said, let's just put this on the side and I need to see this for myself. So I got the movie in front of me. We're going to go ahead and we're going to begin this movie in three, two, one, go. Oh, there we are. Okay, there we go. Now it's beginning. Oh, okay. It's just for... Tap Studios presents... The Banana Split, starring Flegel, oh boy. <laughs> Bingo, Drooper, oh Drooper, oh sorry, might have gotten the name Snarky. wrong. Knowing the context of this movie, it's like, there's a part of me that should be excited that they're all back, but knowing how this is going to be, I don't know, it's just like, oh no. What the, Stevie? I don't remember human people in the Banana Splits. Like seriously, in the show, I don't recall like actual human characters appearing in the show whatsoever, or at least in the live action segments. Like yeah, sure, at the end, they would always show the Banana Splits having fun in like some Six Flags area, but Honestly, I, I don't remember like some guy named Stevie that's also involved with the banana splits. I don't know. That that feels like a random addition. Maybe it's for the sake of the movie. Duncan has the flu. He's not gonna be able to come with us. Wait a minute! I just realized that's a modern phone. Like, is this not? Wait a minute! Is this supposed to be set today? 
Is this not supposed to be... Is this not set in, like, the late 60s when, like, the banana splits is on? Like... What? Wait. Wait. Why would... Why would the banana splits in that same format still be on today? It's... What? What? Why? Uh, push the button. <laughs> <laughs> Your old one broke, so I got your new one. I love it, Austin. We have another surprise for you. I'm really concerned of the fact that, like, he has to go and, like, make that sound. Like, when he's like, <laughs> it's like, I, I guess that's foreshadowing for something, but really it's just like, should, it, should a kid like that have that? Check it out, right? We're here at the Taft Studios, the home of the banana split since 1969. This is hallowed ground. Wait a minute. Oh, so they do acknowledge that. They do acknowledge it. So this is like a 50-year-old show. How is it still running? Seriously? What kind of parallel universe are we in? Like all of them that I'll be going live. I can't believe it just ran out like that. Mitch. Huh? Hey, I need that. It's work. Harley was almost hit by a banana buggy. Uh-oh. Neglectful parent. No, 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 no. I, Again, who's going to be the one that shall die? <laughs> who who shall be the one <laughs> that will take care of him? <laughs> Let us see. Come on, this is all build up. Like I really don't care about any of these characters, man. I'm the vice president of programming now. And the banana splits doesn't really represent my vision for the network. Are you kidding? We're still a huge hit. Yeah, but it's old and stupid. And I want to do something cool and edgy, so today's your last show. Cool and edgy? No, we gotta cancel a 50-year-old show that's apparently been doing so well for them for so many years, but you just want to cancel it because, like, it's stupid. Like, come on, man. That, that, that's like dingo pictures logic right there. Are you kidding? We're still a huge hit. Well, you are stupid. And Stevie. That man dressed like a child. That's Stevie. Nobody really likes him. <laughs> we just gotta establish that already. Don't worry, he's one of the throwaways that when he dies, it doesn't matter. We just gotta immediately, like, set that up. And just for context, this kind of audience participation thing, I don't think that ever happens in the freaking banana splits. I don't remember some kind of special, like, double dare kind of segment where they bring kids and, like, do all this kind of thing. But then again, I mean, like, I'm not saying that to, like, criticize. I'm not going to be, like, that will actually kind of fan. I'm, I'm just pointing that out. Like, I'm not going to fault it. I'm just here, like, and I'm just talking just to wait until, like, you know, the, the, the fun of this movie begins. Like, how long are we in? 20 minutes. Oh, boy, we are going to be here for a while then. The banana split show is done. It's my call. Oh, oh, and, and Glenn? Live with it. They don't mention the ratings, though. Like, in this world, the show's been going on for, like, 50 years, longer than The Simpsons and plenty of others. Oh, wait. Wait! Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh, we started? We started this? Oh, we starting! Oh, Lord, he coming! Oh, please don't let it be a fake out. 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 Come on, come on. Come on, man. Oh, this ain't a fake out. This ain't a fake out. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Come on, come on. Who is it gonna be? Are you kidding me? Who is... 
Come on, who's gonna kill this guy? Who's gonna kill this boy? Sounds like Snorky, probably. Oh yeah, like they set up at the beginning. So yeah, probably Snorky. Oh, nope. What? What just happened? What just, what? Well, we know it happened, but we don't know what happened. You know, for a major uh, Banana Splits fanboy, that kid seemed... Yeah, that kid looks bored. <laughs> like, he should be having the time of his life. This is like a dream come true, and he's just there like... Uh, 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 uh. And nobody's concerned for Stevie. Guess it is true. Nobody cares about Stevie. Whatever. <laughs> oh, here we go. How? What? you're not like you didn't extend the mouth or anything just like dab right in just go right into it well then oh that's one down anyone know which one because she's your assistant who also will be at the office right yes we'll just call her um are we are we ready to go yet if you don't make it out alive from this, then you're definitely taking one trip to the freaking Mori Povich show, man. We know what's going on. Oh, there we go. Yep. I can explain. Like, how can you explain this? Are you sleeping with her? The answer is yes. We know that he's a douchey stepdad. Now we just need to wonder which of the following characters is going to take care of that guy. Such a cliche. <laughs> <laughs> Even the characters in the movie are calling out that they're just a cliche. Oh my god, I never thought I would see this. <laughs> oh my god. You should watch. You should watch, little boy. You know what? You're just a 19 year old burnout. That's all you are. Your dad's lucky. Don't talk about my Go back inside, okay? This is between us. Us? Beth, there's never been an us. There was always Austin, and then there was Harley. Us. What a joke. I say bingo. Yeah, I think bingo would love you. Bingo or Flegel? I mean, like, we already got a death from Drooper. Well, then again, Bingo already had, like, the, uh, the first, like, little hint of the death from the producer, so... Mom, Mom, or the vice yeah, president sorry, or whatever, sorry, but... Yeah, I know. Okay. Come on, let's see. Come on. Who's gonna be the one? We can, we can actually, we can actually play a game! Which character is going to kill who? Oh, that, 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 that would definitely be a fun game to play with this movie. Oh, already the setups. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, I can imagine how fun parties can be with this movie. People always doing like little guessing games, like maybe win prizes or like make some kind of drinking game out of this because like I don't think kids are going to be watching this for sure. I mean like it is a R-rated horror movie after all, but uh, 
Who's gonna be the one? Who's gonna take care? Oh, I think this is it. Who's gonna take care of him? Who's gonna take care of the uh, douchey stepdad? Oh. What? Are we doing a drive-by? Oh, it's a drive-by. Why does it make that sound? Come on. That sounds like something that a kid should not have. Like, come on, that's kind of uncomfortable to sa to, to hear. It's like a kid holding a thing that goes shh. Like, nah, man. <laughs> like, you, you, you can keep, like, foreshadowing that, but I don't know. I still say that's not a thing that a kid should have. Are you the producer? I'll call you back. Something I can do for you? It's more like what I can do for you. Parker, do the thing. Rebecca, I'm so sorry. Parker, this is our shot. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your truck? Stop. That is disturbing. But incredibly dated. She can sing something else. What do you want to You do? know, she actually does have a point. It's like, she should be in the that that's kind of weird. It's like, from a Banana Splits movie, it's this little part right over here that is disturbing and dated. Is that true? Yeah. Out of all the things in the Banana Splits movie, it's this little thing. It's like, it's weird that there are times that I agree with this movie. Like, the irony of all this. Like, wow. Yeah, I don't care about your marital status or whatever with your engagement. It's not it's not necessarily gonna matter anyways. Ah, there we go. What the hell? Legal? We're not here to see your marriage. We're here to see what I'm gonna do. That is an amazing wand! Like, how did you do that? That that really does feel like a legit magic trick. Oh! Oh! Oh, we start something! Oh, we start something! You wanna go in too? Come on! Check this out! Check this out! This is gonna be cool! This is gonna be cool! Trust me! Oh, it doesn't take that much then. Oh, oh, there we go. Now we're getting to the bloody part. Well, we're not really seeing much. This is a little bit underwhelming. Unless, like, it has a good payoff to this. Come on, it's a mat. It's a magic trick. You know what you got to do next. And what are we going to do with the girl, by the way? What's going to happen with that? Ah! There we go! That's how the magic trick works, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just yes. Oh, what? What? <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so you burn his face off and you just gotta do a little dance. I see, yeah. Come on, that's not gonna be enough to kill him. You gotta do a little more, man. What? Aw, oh, come on. You gotta do more than that. I mean, like, 
Flegel did a bit more. Like, he, he cut someone full on in half. Oh! 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 Okay! What? 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 Whoa! Hold on a sec! Hold on a minute! What? What? What happened? What? 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 I'm okay! Okay! I guess that's taken care of, but okay! Okay. <laughs> okay. Like. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that I gotta admit, that was unexpected. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, that 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 was a good shot movie. I'll give you credit on that. Did you find them? Paige brought me up to speed on the whole situation, and I assure you, everything is under control. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, yeah. I know. I know. There's got to be more to this. What? Oh. Okay. So, oh, so she has to be like the, uh, the Sarah Connor mom, like. Let's go find your brother. Okay. Or like Sarah Connor or Ridley. We gotta have the action woman in this. Okay, I, I, I can take it. I'm not complaining, you know. And I gotta admit, she is a pretty attractive uh, woman, so. So, and she's, she and from what she's showing, it's like, she's not bad of a, oh, she's still there. Oh, okay. So, is anyone going to take care of her, or, you know, put her out of her misery? Have you seen them? Can you go take them? What? Where, 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 where did they go? Listen to me. Listen, it's not safe here for you. You have to come with us. Okay? Uh, really? <laughs> really? After she just witnessed her, like, new fiancé split in half, you gotta say, oh, it's not safe in here. Really? <laughs> Very poor choice of words. Come on. Like, I know you're a good actress, but I believe the writing on that thing. Come on. <laughs> There are better words to say in this situation than it's not safe in here. What? 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 Why? Why do you have to do that? Come on, he tried to help you. Why? Why did you have to go and do that? Seriously. Oh! Oh! Here come that boy! Here come that boy! Come on, there's got to be a little more to this. Like, what are we going to do with this guy? We can't leave him bubbly face like, for long. Where's the blue key? Okay. Okay. Okay! That is one heck of a key! What's the prize? Oh! Snippity snap! He did it. <laughs> he took it down to Hammertown! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Hip, hip, <laughs> wow. Holy crap. 
We we are getting somewhere with this. <laughs> wow, dude. What? And it's working, really? Are they doing the smirky shuffle? This is some messed up stuff right here. Yeah, <laughs> you're telling me, kid. Snorky has got to be their savior. Out of everything happening here, the savior is Snorky. Is this is this what you're telling me, movie? Snorky's got to be the savior of this. It's okay, guys. They got to make Snorky the savior. I think I think that's what we have to call him from now on. Unless that like there's some kind of plot twist at the end. For now we 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 shall name him Snorky the Savior. <laughs> Where the the kids are safe just as long as they are with Snorky the Savior. A fifth banana split? Her name is Heat. What? Her name is Heat. Yeah, what? It? Oh, it's like an oh, it's an owl character. Wait, what? What are you doing? What? Are, yeah, good question. What are you doing? Stop that! Like what? It's not for you. What? What are you doing? Good question. Wow, that's a really weak lock if just like one little hammer swing. Okay. Like what? Well, I guess we got one extra kill in the back pocket, I guess. Okay. Wait, what? What the? Who is that again? Is this is that Stevie? What what is that in his eyes? Those drumsticks. Stug the other page. I sent him out with the rest of the audience. Oh. Thanks for the Oh. What? What? Where are the children? <laughs> oh! I didn't realize the body count was that high! Let's go. Okay! Oh! Well now! <laughs> well, I didn't ex- Okay! Well, that's a- that's a little surprise. We have to save those kids. <laughs> so is this how we're gonna end this? The, uh, we're gonna end this in like an ultimate save the children kind of mission. Okay, I see. So it's this kind of uh, movie. Oh, really? Okay, I get it. I get it. We don't care about Stevie, but there is such thing as an overkill, dude. Like, dude, seriously. Oh, he doesn't look that bad. I eh, might have got his few scratches, but eh, he looks okay. Oh! Holy crap! You're still alive? He's still alive! Well, what do you know? I wonder how my show is gonna end. Yeah, I wonder how he's gonna end. That's a better question. I'm surprised you've kept him alive for so long, so. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess Stevie really is, like, the first to go. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Our boy, Snorky the Savior. So are you just going to let him die, or, uh... 
Let them do their thing? Oh! Oh, okay! Oh, I see! Oh! That banana split! Bonk. Ah! So is that why they're called the, uh, banana splits? Oh, of course. Of course, his his magic wand. Because of course at some point it has to come. Of course. So that's what we have to do. That's the point of it. So now do you realize that you shouldn't have given him that freaking wand? What? What? You're back? Time's almost up. What? How'd you get repa- OH! OH! Snorky! Snorky the savior! Come to the rescue! Is that a lion roar? Is that a lion roar? Really? Yeah, pull some pipes. I'm sure that'll fix the problem. Oh! Use his own in- Oh, wow. Snorky the savior, he died for our sins. Snorky! Oh well, I loved you when you were in the first episodes when you looked more like Cousin It. You're still alive! What? How are you still alive? You're still the person who deserved to die the most. Somehow is still alive. How? How, man? Like, what? I want a divorce. Like, what? Really? You couldn't leave him out or... What? Come on, man. That was unnecessary, man. He should have been dead. It should have been more satisfying that he died. Or I guess, no, we gotta do that now or something. I'm injured. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll do that now. Oh, I don't believe this. Okay, oh! Okay! Okay! Okay, thanks, Hoot Girl! Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So has she gone psychotic now, or most likely? I think that's what they're set. Oh, that's what they're setting. Oh no, 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 no! Thank you. We don't need. We don't need any stingers. We don't need any more. Please, no. Oh, come on. Oh no. Oh, no thank you. No! No thanks, I don't think I need any more. I- I think we're all- we're all fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. What an adventure. What an adventure this was. I mean, I know that I've left like a lot of like nitpicks and criticisms, but let's be honest. 
All of that does not matter here. It doesn't matter of the dumb things or the criticisms or like the problems with this movie. It knows very well what it is. It's absolutely stupid. It's just supposed to be your typical slaughter film, but with the banana splits. And I will say like, yeah, it's a bad movie. It's a stupid movie, but it knows what it is and it knows like it's kind of audience. You're just here to see the banana splits kill people in a very gore gory fashion. And at least on that front, it did deliver what it's supposed to do. So really, I can't hate it. I can't fault it. And you know what? At least like after watching this and owning the Blu-ray, honestly, I feel like, you know what? It accomplished its mission, it wanted to do what it wants to do, it succeeds. This movie succeeds in its mission, and I think on that front, it's worth it. You know what? That's what it is. You want, you want to kill people with the banana splits? You did that. Good job, and I can't fault you for that, so... You know what? Was it worth it? Was it worth it to see, like, p characters that I've enjoyed in my childhood slaughtering people in a very bloody and gory fashion. You know what? Yeah, all right. But with that freaking stinger though, no, no. We don't need any more. We don't need a banana splits too. We don't need any more, okay? <laughs> if only we can have Snorky the Savior come back so that he can prevent any sequels from happening. Like, I have a banana splits movie. I'm okay with it. We don't need any more. <laughs>